Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos, I'm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on August 8th of 2024, going over all the events, as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a couple of cool little events, as well as some tweaks to the game, so yeah, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it, it helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win in, without further ado. Let's get into it and start off with this week's events like we do every single week. And the first event can be seen at the top of your screen right here, this daily special icon. You will see with it we have 14 days worth of login rewards right here. These can be claimed through September 19th. Every day when you log in, you'll be able to pick up one of these, click the little box, claim the item. It'll go into your B menu in game, so you can pick it up somewhere in here. And yeah, just neat stuff for logging in for the next two weeks. Big highlights on items though for this one, we have the Origins of Dark Hunger, which are used to pump up your fail stacks without having to do any enhancing, as well as the Shikatu's box, so pretty nice items there on the free pass, and then as is the usual with these, there's a paid pass that you can go for as well. The next event can also be viewed in-game by hovering over the top of your screen, you will see the EXP boost event in progress item up here, so 50% to all life skills, 500% to combat EXP, and 200% to skill EXP, trading life skill exempt from this as well as a 50% drop rate, so if you're trying to farm up any infinite potion pieces or anything like that, treasure items, any rare items, now is a good time to do it, and it'll just be bonus money while you're out there playing as well. So this event will be running through August 29th, so we have three weeks of it, which is pretty cool. Get out there, take advantage of it, and uh, you know, just do the best you can with it. Now the next event is themed for guilds, so for those of you that are in a guild, your guild missions are now going to have bonus reward items available in them. Specifically, you're going to be looking for the missions that have the event tag in front of them, so none of the ones on the server I'm on right now have it, but... Uh, the event tag is going to be the event missions for this event going on. Events running through August 22nd, so over the next two weeks, bonus, bonus guild quests. Next up, we have another event currency that's pretty similar to every single one of these event currencies. When you're out there grinding mobs, gathering items, or fishing, you will get these currencies called the Ellie's Shiny Seal. Ellie's Shiny Seals can be exchanged for a bunch of different items. We've got things like a 100 device of Valk, Shikantu's box, enhancement kits, energy bottles, magic elixir that gives you buffs. So yeah, some pretty cool stuff that you'll want to pick up, and again, you get these just for playing the game, so AFK fishing, gathering, and grinding monsters. And the final event is more of like a real-life themed event. For this one, what you're going to need to do is make sure you're signed up for the Black Desert newsletter. You're going to get some codes that are sent to you via the newsletter, send those to your friends who haven't played in a while, or maybe even new players, and if they reach certain in-game requirements, then they are going to give you rewards, which include an outfit box, and some other enhancement items and whatnot. So uh, if you have some friends you've been trying to get into Black Desert, or you've got some friends that have stayed away for a while, uh, take advantage of them, send them over some codes, and uh, pick up yourself some free in-game stuff. But that is it for the events themselves, we can now move on to the patch notes, and the patch notes uh, don't have a ton with this one. A couple little tweaks to the Sorceress class, so movement fluidity improvements on the Sorceress. Berserker, Lawn, Guardian also get a couple little tweaks, nothing too crazy with that one. Moving on a bit further into the patch notes, the first big change here, for those of you that are still working towards your Jatina items, for your exchanges to get those gear pieces that I highly recommend going for as a newer player, uh, you can go a little bit faster now with them. You can exchange for 180 crystals at three latent boss auras, so it will allow you to get the items that you need for upgrading the gear a little bit faster. Pretty neat uh, for those who are trying to catch up in the game, newer players, and all that sort of stuff. You can also now extract things like your Garmoth's Heart from a Caphras enhanced item without needing to extract the Caphras stones first, which is also nice for those of you that are trying to swap builds or rebuild your character or something like that. Next, for those of you that are looking to get into naval-based content, if you want to upgrade your Bartali sailboat to a sailboat or a frigate, either the Fira sailboat or Furia frigate, uh, the enhancement has been made a little bit easier across the board, less resources required, easier to obtain the various items as well. So pretty nice there for those of you that are trying to get started with your adventures. But yeah, other than that, nothing else too crazy with this patch. So big thing, big takeaway here, bonus EXP, which is pretty nice. Free stuff for logging in for the next two weeks, so also pretty nice. And this new Ellie's Seal item that's going to let you get a Shikatu's box just for playing the game. So pretty pretty cool little stuff there on the event side. Update-wise, nothing too crazy. But yeah, now is your turn. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So are you excited for this patch? Looking forward to anything in it? Looking forward to the new region? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.